Hello guys, welcome to my channel and this series is a series of tutorials on OpenMP implementation in Fortran. Now in this tutorial we will be writing our first hello world program. Um, hello world program and from with that I will be explaining you guys some you know, some of the features of OpenMP. Some simple features of OpenMP. Now in this program uh, I'll be uh, in this program. Uh, we'll what we'll be doing is that we'll be we'll be making each and every thread of uh, that are, uh, each and every thread to display hello world on the uh, on the terminal. Okay, so let's see. Let's get up. Let's get up. Let's get started with that. First, what first what you like to tell is that just gonna just want to give you guys a quick reminder of the OpenMP command syntaxes syntax. Suppose if we have a directive or a block or a clause, okay, the commands go like this. You just write exclamation dollar sign followed by OMP and then you write the directive name followed by the classes if there are any and then you, you add, some, uh, add some arguments over here as extras. Okay, and then you have Fortran code in between and then what you do is that you end the directive using exclamation dollar sign OMP space end and then that mostly this is sufficient but uh, for good programming practice and for avoiding any ambiguity in the program you it's always uh, recommended you finish the finish it with uh, with the directive name and stuff you just finish it with the directive name or the class name whatever it may be okay and then you have the normal comments of the pre-processed directives okay these what you have to do is you just have to start them with exclamation dollar sign they will be ignored during serial execution and they will be taken con they will be considered during parallel execution like all of these commands they will be con they will be considered during parallel execution and they will be ignored du during serial execution okay with that being said with that being said the one more topic we have to look, have to look, look at is a thread now thread is actually in simple terms uh, a computational a computational unit available in a system in a system or a processor see in the long time ago before the advent of you know well, dual core processors or multi core processors okay usually the processors were single core and as a con and what does what it implies is that each processor had a single operating core or a single cpu as a consequence they just had only a single operating center okay now with advent of uh, dual core processors quad core processors and stuff what happened is that they're able to have a process such that it has multiple independent operating uh, operating cores for instance if i just take if i open system monitor if I open system monitor in my laptop my laptop okay has about eight operating eight uh, individual cores i won't say eight cores it has eight threads to be honest my s that's because my laptop i have an intel i7 third generation processor and that third and this processor is quad core in nature and each core has two operating threads two operating threads so since there is quad core with two threads each there are eight processing units for my processor so i ca so in my system i can go up to eight so depending on your operating system I mean depending on your hardware that you have in your system you can go up to 8 or 16 or 4 or 2 or just 1 okay that's 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 the thing you have to keep in mind so usually one thread means one operating um, one thread means one operating unit okay so usually if I keep that in mind so for for a processor is usually it is one thread or two threads or four threads or eight threads depending on the system so keep that in mind okay and uh, you can use it accordingly now let's go with these information aside let's go to the direct program first we need this library omp underscore lib because this has all the definitions for the sub functions subroutines and all the uh, variables that we that openmp has okay all of them are defined in this uh, module so this module is necessary what I'm doing here is I'm setting the number of threads to be 4 okay and and I'm setting this variable thread num to be 0 this thread num will give us the number of the thread that is act that is actively on working this function call I mean this subroutine call OIP set num threads this is the this is the line where uh, the we, we get the com uh, this is the line where the compiler gets to know that we are going to use parallel programming 
when we include this when this command runs in parallel mode what happens is that the compiler knows that uh, compiler knows that uh, this many number of threads in this case four threads will be will be used for running the program so when the execution runs execution runs four threads will be on four threads will be on standby in uh, four threads uh, will be on standby for doing the process okay so all the set num threads will call four threads and make it ready here just th this will just display hello world display hello world and just say says how many threads are being under use simple as that now uh, this is the main juicy part of the entire tutorial what i've done here is i've i've written an oimp parallel block okay and inside that i have an oimp critical block and inside that i have two instructions i have two instructions one instruction says that is uh, what once the an instruction is actually a function call what it does is that this fun uh, this function oimp get thread now is being called and the result of this function num function is being stored to this variable thread num what does this do is that during parallel execution the the thread which is active the thread which is active okay that uh, the, uh, the id of that thread will be taken by this function and it's going to return that to the variable and then that will be printed it will be taken and this is print statement is going to print that it's going to say hello world from thread number comma thread num simple as that okay what is this parallel block does is as follows i'll keep it simple now i'll explain this in much more elaborately in the future tutorial what is this parallel block does is that what it takes all the statements between the parallel block okay and makes each and every th active thread to run these uh, statements once so if we just if we just run this parallel only these two instructions will be done by a single thread <coughs> if you done if you done this in serial let's say but if you done this in parallel Uh, with this parallel block put in all these statements will be done by each thread once so there are two instructions but there will be in practice there will be eight instructions okay because two instructions per thread and there are four threads so for eight instructions in total and what this critical block does is that in simple terms this critical block uh, forces the threads to run one after the other simple as that it runs there's the comp forces the threads to run one after the other so though in a parallel mode it tells the compa tells the makes the threads to take turns and finish the job one after the other that's a critical block now with that being said let's compile this program for that for compiling this and executing this i have a small shell script ready okay now let me go to the folder okay what it do, what this does is that uh, this this line compiles the code and builds the object files and this one builds the this line builds the executable executable and we're running the executable over here this flag minus f open mp this is the flag that that this flag is is the one that calls all the open mp subroutines and subroutines and call, uh, calls in it okay so what i have to do is i just have to right bash hello open mp dot sh run this it says displays hello world and says number of threads used is 4 and it says the thread order to be 2 3 0 1 and stuff so if i if i list out all the things that are available i have an executable over here so if i run this hello dot exe if you look at this okay let me just push this up a bit look at this the uh, every time you look at it the thread order the thread order changes with respect to running and they're printing they're just printing hello world from thread 2 thread number and everything now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to you know make this run parallel serially just to give you guys a feel of how this works serially okay and if i compile this compile and build and ever do this it says number of threads used is 4 and it says hello world from thread 0 That's because a single thread is used during open MP, during a serial execution, and that's about it. Okay. Now in this example, hope you guys understood what uh, what parallel execution is and uh, parallel execution is and uh, serial execution is, and hope and hope you guys understood the example. This example is pretty simple. If you guys are able to understand this example, the subsequent examples would be more easier to follow. Okay. And uh, And one more thing is that I have intended this code like this. 
the indentations are only for reference you don't have to necessarily use them i'm using this to make the look, look make make the look code look easy to easy for diagnosis simple for, simple as that it, it's no there's no necessity for you to intend the code you can write as, as per you want but i recommend you intend it so that it becomes it's easy to spot any issues in the future okay uh, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Now in the next tutorial, I will be explaining you guys about uh, some inter uh, an, an interesting topic called as race condition, and I will be I'll also be explaining about open and parallel block and open and critical block a in a little more detail, using the same example. Okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.